Well, I haven't posted a video in around three to four weeks. So in this video, I've been meaning to make a video about how my normal day goes. I had this big debate with myself on how to make this video because Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays have a different schedule and Tuesday and Thursdays have a different schedule on their own. In fact, Monday has a different schedule than Wednesday and Friday. But I eventually came up with this idea where I just split it into three parts. Monday video, a Wednesday and Friday video, and a Tuesday and Thursday video. This is going to be an interesting part because my room is messy right now. So here's the thing about me. As much as possible, every Sunday night, I try to do a hard reset. I try to relax as much as I can. I try to keep my desks, floors, or even the closets all organized. And right now, I haven't done that. So what I'm gonna do now is pretty much show you guys how I organize my desk, I guess. Here's the time lapse for me fixing everything in my room. So my desk is pretty much organized as much as I can. So now the only things you can see on this desk are either my laptop, my iPad. I have a Starbucks planner mostly because I've always wanted to own one. I usually start out my week by just planning everything. So I list down all of the things I have to do, assign them to the day they're due, and just start from there. The tasks that I usually start off with on a Sunday night are actually group works. So for example, lab reports, group presentations, group papers maybe. And then I pick one or two tasks for myself. As you can see in this example, I was doing accounting and I sacrificed this subject because it's just for my minor anyway. But then of course, when I do get the chance, I try to catch up on everything on the weekend. It does has its problems, but then it's what's working for me right now. So that's what I'm going to keep on doing. All right, so all my schoolwork's just about done. So it's about 10, 27, I think it's the perfect time to sleep now. Usually I wake up around 5 to 5.30 a.m. I'm gonna go ahead and set my alarm. Then I have this thing where I set up an interval. So every 15 minutes, I set an alarm for 5 a.m., then another one for 5.15, and then another one for 5.30. Which I think gives me enough time to actually wake up. Okay, so that pretty much ends the night part of my day routine. I just included this part because I think you guys would appreciate to know what I do to set up my day. I'm gonna go ahead and set up for sleep now because I really need to get some Z's before I have to wake up early tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, okay, guys. See you all tomorrow. Forgot my glasses. So it's about 5.40, I think 5.50 in the morning and I just got done showering. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed already. Hopefully it'll take little to no time. Bye. I think I'm all set for the day. I got all my essentials, phone, wallet, keys. Sounds like an Adams. All my stuff has been prepared the night before. I think I mentioned before that my day actually starts at night because at night I fix all my stuff for today. But yeah, I guess it's time to film my drive to school. Usually at this hour, or at least at this time, I take out my phone and turn on the Bluetooth. Also, the cellular data because for some reason I can't drive without my playlist music. So I guess I'll see you guys when I park in school. I 
I'm actually pretty surprised because it only took me 10 minutes to get to school. Usually it takes 30 to at least 45. So what I like about going to school early is the fact that traffic isn't much of a problem and I always have parking. Fun fact, I have this parking spot that I have been using ever since last year. It's specifically the third one from the left of the strip of cement right in front of JSEC. After I park, I go directly to Gonzaga. Usually when I get there, I just sit down, plop up my laptop and do minor things like probably revisions on papers, read a reading again, or probably even watch Netflix. It depends a lot on what I finished the night before. Right after I do those things, I get myself breakfast and then I go directly to my 8 a.m. class, which is systematics. This is an 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. class. I need my energy boost immediately so usually before the class even starts before they take attendance i get myself a 20 peso cup of coffee from the vending machine it's just black coffee maxed out to caffeine i try to be participative in class because i need them extra brownie points and to make myself not fall asleep even more i take notes whatever the prof says it's on my notes but then from here and there i try to translate what they're trying to say into something that i can understand Right after systematics, I have physics, which is from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Luckily, it was free cut. So here's Chowki to explain the whole matter now. So I'm going to get up physics class. Natin. So um, we're going on a field trip. Uh, it's kind of far from our classroom. Eh? We were free cut in physics today, so I'm going to spend my free time studying or doing a paper. I don't know, just being productive with my time in general. So right after physics is around the time where I can finally eat lunch, but then on really busy Mondays, what happens is I forget to eat and then I just go straight to studying. 2 to 3 p.m. is accounting. Now, this is for my minor. It's not really something I know. I started from scratch in this part, so as much as possible, I try to take notes on every session. But then it's a Monday, so I can't help it. I still fall asleep sometimes. I do get good grades a month, so I think that's fine. It more than makes up for the fact that I fall asleep in class. After this, I was just working on papers from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. I forgot to film it. And from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., I have this mentorship program by Meco that just explains the ins and outs of trading, investing. I think the main point of it is just financial freedom, having more control of your finances. After that, I was waiting for Billy and Louise to finish their thesis stuff. And then we went straight to Sam Yup. Personally, I love Sambu for the fact that it has unlimited meat, but it's not something you should do more than twice a month. It's really bad for the heart. Luis, how was it? Okay, so that pretty much sums up my whole Monday. I would have recorded this ending video with my camera, but then the battery died and I... Honestly, I'm just too lazy to charge it. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys' schedules are on a Monday. And it's up to your discretion if you want to share the exact details of the time, place, or whatever. All up to you. I just want to know what you guys' Mondays are usually like. See you guys on the next video, which is about Thursday next week.